everyone, Cherie here. Today I'm going to be working with the September 2019 Citrus Twist Kits Life Crafted Kit and the Scrapbooking Add-on Kit. So I'm using bits and pieces from both of those kits. And today I'm working on a layout for the Sunday sketch, which you may have just seen the sketch. I did pop it at the beginning of this video. So what I've got is an 8.5 by 11 piece of white cardstock for my background. The paper I'm using is from the Scrapbooking Add-on Kit and Life Crafted Kit. So I've got this piece here, which is pink on the back. So I've cut a piece of that, which is going in behind my photo. And I'm also using this gray piece, which is from the Life Crafted Kit. It was a six by eight piece of paper, which I've also trimmed down to go behind my photo. Now on the sketch behind the photo, you may see that it looks like there's different uh, vertical strips of paper. Uh, now because this paper will already has different colors and sections, I'm going to use this as just one piece of paper. That's what I love about sketches is that you can just make it your own. So that's going in behind my photo there. I've already got my other piece for that top right hand corner which is a triangular piece and I'll add stitching to that. The title I'm using today says Let's Go. This photo was our first bus trip to the Commonwealth Games uh, earlier last year and it was the first time we've ever been. It was a very exciting day for us. So I've got Let's Go as my title. Now I'm using the chipboard alphabet from the Life Crafted Kit. You may notice that there's no apostrophes in this set. However, I found that if you use the centers of the A's, you can use those as apostrophes and they look great. So I've got one of those there ready to use. I'm also going to use some of the stickers from the Life Crafted Puffy sticker set there. I've got a label from this pack which is in the scrapbooking add-on kit and I'm also going to use some stamps from the Life Crafted Traveler's Notebook set Wanda so I've got a few stamps picked out to use on this spread. I've got some of the die cuts here, uh, a couple of labels and my printed journaling as well and I've also got just a tag that I've cut from plain white cardstock and just added a piece of twine to the top so I'm going to use that on this spread as well. Okay, I think I'm ready to get started, so I'll pop you on fast forward and get right into it. So first up, I'm going to layer those two pieces of pattern paper together and just position these pieces onto the page before I add some stitching. So I've got that triangular piece going in the top right hand corner and I'm just going to grab my sewing machine and add a little bit of stitching to both of those pieces. So I was going to stitch on that before I stuck it onto the page, but then decided to just stick it down before I add that stitching. So I just want to make sure I've got enough room to put that floral piece to the bottom left hand side, so making sure my spacing is right. And I'm also going to grab my ruler and just make sure that that's nice and straight before I add the stitching. So the stitching is now done and I'm going to add my photo to the front of that, tuck in a little label in that top left hand corner as well. And I'm just going to rough up the edges now because it was looking a little bit too perfect and simple. So adding a little bit of texture by just roughing up the edges all the way around the photo. And I'll also do the same with that triangular piece in the top corner as well. All right, so I'm just going to add a puffy sticker to the top of that photo there. That one says, off on a new adventure. And now I've got those pretty florals to add to the bottom corner of the photo. So I've got that yellow one going on there. I've got foam dots behind each of these pieces just to lift them up off the page a little bit and add a bit of dimension. So I've got that blue flower going on there now and another set of leaves just to finish off that little cluster. Okay, so next I'm going to tuck that tag in behind the photo there and that tail of twine is going to hang down the page, adding more texture to the page. And I've got my letter stickers, uh, the chipboard letters going under the photo. So I'm just going to put everything into position to start off with because I want to add a little bit of stamping under this title. So I'm going to also grab my uh, journaling strips and add those just to make sure I've got enough room to add the stamp that I want to use. I've got those labels going in the bottom corner, just like in the sketch. And I just found that little ticket I wanted to add in as well, because it says guaranteed fun down the side. So I want that little piece 
peeking out from underneath the photo there. Okay, so I think I'm ready to get some stamping done now. So I'm just organizing myself, grab some spare paper, grab my stamps there. Okay, so I've got four stamps out of this set that I'm going to use. So first up, uh, I've got the larger one going onto the block. It says, uh, let's do this, notes from the day. And this is the one that I want to go underneath my title there. So just done a little test stamp and now I'm going to go directly onto the page. I'll just move those chipboard letters out of the way. And that is looking pretty good. So next I've got two phrases that I want to go above the photo in that top left corner. So this first one says we're on our way. Very appropriate for this photo. So that's on there now. And the next one says field trip. And I'm going to put this one just above that phrase I've just stamped. I noticed I had a bit of excess ink on my block. So just cleaning that off so I don't make a mess. And I'm going to reposition that as well on the block just so that it doesn't add any ink to my photo. So that one is now done. And next I've got a stamp that says this was so fun. And that one's going onto that grey label. So stamping that directly onto the label there. And for this last label, I'm going to use that to add the date to the page. So I'm going to stamp it on the bottom half of the label because I want to overlap them just like they are on the sketch. Okay, so that's all of my stamping done. So now I'm going to put all those chipboard letters back onto the page and I'll also grab those journaling strips and I'll have those labels into position as well. So I'll go ahead and stick those down. So the letters are stuck down. I've sort of um, offset them from each other a little bit to make it look a little bit more fun. So everything's stuck down there now. So I'm going to grab my sewing machine and add stitching. And I've also added a few little puffy sticker details as well. So you can see a little cluster there near those labels. And this page is now done. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing my take on the sketch this week. If you've got any questions, please let me know. I'll answer you as soon as I can. And I'll leave a link to Citrus Twist kits down below. Thank you so much for joining me today. See you again soon. Bye for now.